Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial from Do You Photoshop. In today's tutorial we are going to talk about cross-processing and how can we simulate this digitally using Adobe Photoshop CS6. Just a little bit of history, cross-processing is a technique used in analog photography where you switch the substances that you use for print from C41 to E6 and from E6 to C41. In order to create this effect, we will use adjustment layers, channels, and layer blending modes. So, let's get started. We have this photo of uh, the London Bridge, and we are going to create a cross-processing effect on it. First, we go to the adjustment layers and choose curves. Now, as we can see here, we have the RGB blended channel and we are going to work on each channel in part. Just stick with me and create this exact curves that I'm creating right now. On the red channel, we make a nice S-curve. On the green channel, we are just going to increase the luminosity a little bit not much and on the blue channel we are going to create pretty much a big distortion like this this and this what you want to make sure is that all the channels have this point in the center where the line meets the intersection lines as you can see well, except the green channel but you can see in the red channel we have this and in the blue channel otherwise you will get uh, grays in your image that have different uh, hue so we have this cross processing effect from C41 to E6 and for me it looks a little bit too strong we have before and after before and after so to make the process a little bit soft I'm going to change the blending mode for this uh, adjustment curve and I'm going to change it to color and there you go a nice blending that simulates the cross processing effect from C41 to E6 as I told you, there's also <clears throat> a cross-processing effect from six, E6 to C41. And I'm going to show you how to do it in just one second. I'm going to just hide this um, first layer. I'm going to go again, create one more curves layer. And this time I'm going to work on all the three channels. Red I'm going to leave as it is, green I'm going to create a nice S curve and remember to keep that middle point, all the lines need to in intersect there and on the blue channel we are going to create another S curve like this and once again, because the effect is too strong, I'm going to use a color blending mode for, for this layer. Yep, so there you have it. Cross-processing effect for digital photography. This is E6 to C41. And this is C41 to E6. If you want to save the image, just pick whatever effect do you want. Go to layer, flatten image, it will ask you if you want to discard the other layers, click OK. And then just save image, save the image in whatever format you want. Thank you for watching, for listening and I'll see you next time.